In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize our new 3D character inside of Create Studio. So what you want to do is go to 3D Creator. You can also access it over here. I'm just going to click on that and I've got my character. And we're going to be adding in a whole bunch of new 3D characters over the coming weeks and months. Um, this is our first one. So you can go ahead and download that. I'm just going to drag it onto the timeline. You guys see I've got my character. I'm going to position him like so. Now you can also rotate your character by double clicking or clicking on this button here and you can go ahead and rotate him as you like. Um, you can also reset the standard default view as well. Okay, so we've got our character here. What we can do is simply click on customize with your character selected and you can go ahead and choose a whole bunch of different designs for your character. Uh, let's go, you can have a clown outfit, you can have your logo like so. And what you can do then is click on if you've got a shirt with a logo on it, you can click on logo and then select logo replacement and choose your logo. So you've got, for example, Nike, just add any logo you like onto your t-shirt. Um, we can go ahead and then and choose different trousers. So I might go with something like this, some cargo pants. And for the shoes, I'm going to go with, let's have a look, maybe some Vans shoes like that. Looks pretty cool. And a quick... Uh, keyboard shortcut that's really helpful is F. If you hit F on your keyboard, it, it basically fits the canvas in the middle. And you can also use Command Plus to zoom in and out, or you can use the roller on your mouse as well. And then you can also hold down Space on your keyboard and left click to basically manipulate the canvas. Okay? So you can adjust the shoes, you can adjust the hat, so you can add a hat if you like to your character. Um, or you can select None as well if you want to remove that. I'm going to go over to the here. We've got a whole bunch of awesome hairstyles and you can basically create a really custom character for you so I might choose this hairstyle and I can go ahead and check what it looks like when I rotate it around reset the view I'm gonna go to glasses you can add glasses um, this one looks quite cool I think for this character different facial hair so just by changing these variables you can really get a unique looking character um, and you can adjust the eyebrows as well I might go with this one here actually we've also got accessories so if we click on accessories you can add earpods a backpack and to remove them simply click on it again that will remove it you can also add a tattoo on to the sleeve um, we've got a whole bunch of other accessories as you, as you can see now what we can do is adjust the colors and with the logo, uh, with the tattoo sorry, you can also go and replace that with your own image. So it's best to go and get a PNG image um, and you can yeah, basically add that onto the sleeve. I'm going to go and adjust this character slightly and actually what I might do is change this hairstyle. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with maybe these dreadlocks here and what I'm going to do now, I might also remove those glasses. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is change the skin color. So I'm going to make him a bit darker like this maybe. I can go ahead with the hair. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the eye color as well. Cool, it's looking good. And for the t-shirt it looks quite nice. I actually quite like this outfit as it is. So I could go ahead and adjust the colors if, if you wanted, but I think this looks quite good as it is. And then what we can also do is adjust the lighting. So depending on the room that you're in or if you're outside and it, maybe it's nighttime, you might want to adjust the lighting slightly. So I can make brighten this up slightly with the ambient. You can also change the ambient color. So if it's like a night uh, with like a, you know, a sunset, you might want to make the color like, like an orangey color like this kind of feel. And go with white for this one and the front intensity as well we can adjust that like so and that's looking super cool so as you can see that's just a quick example i'm going to duplicate him one more time and just show you another example so we can go ahead and customize this guy i might go and make him an older character so i'm going to go with the hair i'm going to make him bald like this and then what i'm going to do as well is change the facial hair I might just make him have some stubble like this and the eyebrows maybe this one here and for the clothing I'm gonna go ahead 
could maybe make him a smart character like this, or actually I might make him just kind of a fun, fun old granddad, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add some shorts. And I'm gonna change his skin color. So I'm gonna make him slightly lighter like this. I'm gonna change his hair color like this. And I'm also gonna change his eye color. So maybe you can have like kind of brown eyes. Let's have a look. Okay, something like that. It's looking quite cool. And I also might remove that tattoo from his arm. And I'm gonna add some glasses. And that's looking pretty cool. Maybe also change the the shoes. I might add some slippers or some sandals. Let's go with something like that. Yeah, I quite like that character, cool. So that's just an example of how you can quickly and easily customize your characters. Um, as I said, you can go ahead and double click, rotate your character, see what it looks like in different angles. And yeah, make sure to go on and check out some of the other tutorials where I'll show you how to animate your characters, how to change and animate the angle of your character. Um, and yeah, and also how to adjust different things like facial expressions and things like that.